Okay, so if I had to have one meal for the rest of my life, it would be steak and a sweet potato. And lo and behold, today we are going to go through the best steak restaurants in and around Baltimore. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything that there is to know about living in and around Baltimore, be sure to subscribe below, hit that notification bell so that you can be the first to know about everything that we have going on here in and around Baltimore. I'm Mike Maslinski. And I'm Kelly Schuett, and we're with the W Home Group, and we love helping you explore in and around Baltimore. We both live here, we were raised here, we love helping you guys connect with all of the wonderful neighborhoods that Baltimore has to offer. So if you're thinking about buying, selling, investing here in the next nine days, 90 days, whatever your timeline looks like, we help people just like you every single day. So connect with us, whatever is easy for you, message, um, email, phone call, text, we're available to you. So if you're a meat person, this, this video is definitely for you. Be sure to hit that notification bell, subscribe below so that you can stay current on everything we have going on here in and around Baltimore, not just the steaks, not just the crab cakes. Kelly's going to talk about the first couple, and then I'm going to talk about a couple. And there's one that I think uh, is probably better than the rest, but it just depends on uh, on uh, your cut of meat and how much you <laughs> and how much you like those. So, Kelly, what is your uh, favorite? Would well, you I would say my favorite is different than the one I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with one that's a Baltimore okay. institution, okay. and I do like it here, but it's probably not my favorite. Um, it's the Prime Rib. The Prime yeah. Rib is like a Baltimore institution. Um, it's in downtown Baltimore. And you walk in there and you are transported into the, t the Mad Men times. You feel like yeah. you're in like a 1950s like supper club. And <laughs> it is so cool. It's such a vibe. I mean, if you want to go grab a dirty martini and have a steak, I don't even think they'll bat an eye if you light up a cigarette in there. It's that old school. Um, and their steaks are amazing. Their service is great. Plan to be there for at least two to three hours and have at least three too many martinis or cocktails, but it's a great time. Perfect place for like a business dinner. Like mm -hmm. you are like transported to like boys club. And I think it's cool. That's very much the vibe. That's for sure. Um, the next one, and you know, you can, you can definitely go to uh, this location, not just here in Baltimore, but other locations around the country. Uh, but it's still worth speaking about and it's the Capitol Grill. So whether you've been to one or, or not, Capitol Grill is just, it's extremely nice. And the one here is down in the inner, har inner harbor. And I think that, you know, if you just want, you know what you want, no fuss, no frills, just Capitol Grill, good steaks, good meat, good service, then Capitol Grill is the one. Our location's great, I agree. Um I'm gonna go with a new restaurant in Baltimore, which is the Ruxton. It's in Harbor East. If you have not gotten a chance to visit it since it opened, it's only been open for a couple of months here. We're in 2024. I think they did a fabulous job. The atmosphere is beautiful. The steak cuts are so delicious. The sides are great. The service was wonderful. I really think it's a phenomenal experience. Um, had a great steak there recently. It's down in Harbor East, right? So yeah. uh, it's real close to the Marriott there. Um, and it just, you know, we've said it before and we'll say it again. It comes up every time we talk about food, but it's it's owned by the Atlas Group. So uh, it's, it's hard to go, it's hard to go wrong uh, with them, so. Another one that I have on the list is also an Atlas Group restaurant, but it might not be one that you think of for steaks and that's Monarch. Monarch is a really cool format restaurant. If you haven't been before, they have live performances. It's kind of like a French like dinner theater vibe. It's really sexy and fun and they have really great steak actually. And they have really awesome like toppings for it. It's one of the restaurants where they do that like melted butter disc and just like they make everything a performance including your steak so it's a fun place to get a really really good cut of steak now my favorite and this is in baltimore county and that is the milton inn it's a good one 
We may have spoken about it before, but the Milton Inn is, is so good. It's been around for literally ever. Um, and the, probably the best part about it, and not every restaurant has this. Sometimes they do, but it's probably usually a special. It's not always on the menu, is they have a venison steak. And their venison steak is so good. It's so tender. It's so lean. I don't I mean, and it's really close to where I live too, so that helps. But um, in truth be told, it is extremely nice restaurant. It's great. It's set in like an old estate. It's a beautiful stone restaurant. It has an excellent patio, a great bar. Um, it's such a special spot and it's just, it's so pretty. And their food is really great. It's a Cindy Wolf restaurant. Mm -hmm. You've heard us mention her before, but she is basically like a celebrity chef here in Baltimore and like legit amazing food and a great, um, a great menu at all of her restaurants. So she bought this restaurant a couple of years ago and transformed it. And it's just an amazing like countryside escape. Okay, so that's the list. So whether you want to, uh, you know, a more traditional experience or you want to get outside the box, there's a ton of options we have for you in the steak realm of things. So be sure to hit that notification bell, subscribe so you can stay current on everything that we have going on here in and around the city. I'm Mike Maslinski. I'm Kelly Shewitt. We love exploring our favorite spots in and around Baltimore. And we love showcasing that Baltimore is so much more than meets the eye, so much more than you see on the media. If you're from Baltimore, you already know that. And if you're from the area and you're thinking about moving within the area, we love giving you options that might be in your new neighborhood or excuses to check out new neighborhoods you might not have seen before. If you're moving here from another state, just know that you're going to have tons of great food options when you get to the area.